On the 777, if you pull too hard on takeoff, you can damage the gear before the plane even lifts. The moment you rotate, pull the nose up for liftoff, you shift the aircraft's load from nose gear to main gear. But if you yank too aggressively, the nose doesn't rise fast enough, and all that force gets slammed into the nose strut. The 777's nose gear is angled back, not straight down. So as you rotate, the pivot creates rotational torque. Too much pitch too quickly, and that pivot point gets overwhelmed. Think of it like trying to lift a wheelbarrow with your back locked. That's why Boeing trains pilots to rotate at a precise rate, about two to three degrees per second. Not too fast, not too slow. It's not just about passenger comfort, it's about not turning the nose gear into a lever under strain. Overstress it and you could damage bushings, bend components or worse, cause a nose gear bounce on takeoff or landing. It's rare but it happens and it all starts with how gently or not you pull back that yoke. So next time you're watching a 777 takeoff and wonder why the nose rise is so slow, that's not hesitation, it's control. Because if you yank it, you don't fly sooner. You just slam 700,000 pounds of aircraft onto a single strut. Rotation isn't about force, it's about finesse.